So I have a quick GIMP GMIC tutorial for you this time. We're going to take some regular photographs, sort of uh, like the one you see here of this old truck, and we're going to turn it into a painting that you see here. I'll show you a couple of different examples to kind of give you an idea of some of the settings you'll need to get this type of result, that you, the type you see here. Almost like a painted on canvas look. So that's one example and um, I did another example using the uh, the Jeep you see here. Lots of character. You see a lot of curves and knobby tires and whatnot. So, uh, pictures that have this type of detail to it lend themselves well to converting them into almost like a, a painting on canvas like you see here. So I turned uh, this Jeep as well into uh, a nice canvas painting. And I'll show you how to do it in this episode of GIMP and the GMIC plugin. So let's get started. Let's open up the original truck image with GIMP. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to click on colors and go down to auto and we want to white balance the image itself. Now there's a couple of things you could do after you white balance it. You can go into the colors and use color balance and adjust the color settings with the shadows, midtones, and highlights manually. Or um, you can kind of cheat like I did and you can brighten up these colors by going into color go into auto and do some color enhance. You'll see that immediately I get some bright reds in here and it kind of gives me extreme colors. That's kind of what I need to get that painting look. But um, I think I'm going to adjust the contrast and brightness just a little bit. I'm going to go into colors. I'm going to do go into brightness and contrast. And what I want to do is I want to um, darken this down just a bit. And add a little bit more contrast. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get um, some real deep darks here and uh, just make it so that it it looks. I can see some of the detail, but not all the detail in the tires. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to click OK. Next, I'm going to click on filters and go down to GMIC, and we're going to apply some dream smoothing in the artistic section here. Click on Artistic, go down to Dream Smoothing, and when you highlight that, and you, you'll get your auto your auto preview here. You'll notice that with Equalize at each step, it's going to give you kind of a brighter look. If you turn that off, you'll see that this it gives you a bit of a darker look. So, what I need for this picture, I guess, is a little bit lighter look is what I'm going for. So I'm going to make sure that that is selected and I'm not going to change any of the default settings. I have three iterations is good as well as everything else here and I'm going to click OK to apply it. And when that gets done you're going to see that I'm pretty much done with the effect that I'm looking for. It automatically looks like I painted this with brush strokes and uh, the only thing I'm going to do is maybe adjust the uh, brightness and contrast again just a little. Uh, to get it where I want it. And I'm also going to bump up the saturation a little bit under colors, hue, and saturation. I'm going to see, there we go. Bump up the colors just a little bit so that it looks more like uh, the red hue I'm looking for on the truck. And I'm going to click OK. Now, the next thing you want to do to kind of sell the painting look is to actually put a signature in here. So we're going to click on the paintbrush here. We're going to change the opacity down to 50% or around there. And the size of our brush to about 4 pixels. And once you've done that, pick a good spot for your signature and then just start painting your signature in. And at 50% opacity, it kind of blends it in 
most like that you're using watercolors. Put a 16 in here. Now let's go into filters and let's click on artistic and apply canvas. This is going to give it that bumpy canvas look. And I think the default setting of four is a little too much. Sometimes I'll use three or two, so we'll use three on this one. And once it's done, there you go. That's uh, how I made the image that I showed you earlier. I'm going to hit the brightness and contrast a little bit because I think it's a little bit too. Much contrast. And this is at the end, this is kind of where you're going to play with it to get the, the final result that you want. But um, that's going to be good for this uh, tutorial. I just wanted to show you really quick how to uh, turn a regular picture into a cool looking painting. And that's how you do it. So hopefully you learned something. If you like what I'm doing, click like and I'll see you in the next one.